Welcome to adding whole numbers and decimals. Today we're going to be going through how to add whole numbers and how to add decimals together and some of the key concepts that are behind them. Now before we get into that we have to understand what a place value chart is. Now a place value chart is a simple mechanism to distribute numbers evenly so you could understand what the breakdown of each number is. So right here we have the example right on the side 5982. Now each of these numbers in this whole number 5982 has a different value to it. If we start on the right side we have the number 2. Now this 2 actually represents 2 because it is, in the, it is simply 1. So we have two objects, we have two of them. So where that 2 goes it moves over to the 1's column because it is simply two different objects. Now the next number in 5982 is 8. Now this 8 doesn't actually represent 8. It actually represents 80. So where this 8 belongs, it would go into the tens column. So you'd think of 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, and so on and so forth, all the way up to 90. And that would be in the tens column. So there's 8 of the tens, so it goes into the, eight, the tens column. The next number over here is the 9. And again, this doesn't represent 9, but it actually represents 900. So there's 900 little cubes, if we think about it. And then we could place this into the hundreds column. So your 9 is placed right there. So there's 900 of these. And finally you have the 5, which is, represents the thousands. So there's five thousands. And that would be placed into the thousands column. Now all this, it breaks down the, the number nice and easily, separated, so you know which of these numbers in the whole number it represents what. So if we add these all up together, 5,000 plus 900 plus 80 plus 2, we get 5,982. Now, as we move forth, we're, we get two more different columns right over here. We have tenths and hundredths. Now, these numbers are decimals. Now, a decimal is are the numbers in between whole numbers. So if you think of what a whole number is, a whole number is 1 or 2. What decimals represent are the numbers in between 1 and 2. So you'd have 1.3, 1.5, 1 1.68, and so on and so forth. So they're not totally whole numbers. They're parts of it. They're adding up to the whole. So they're in between two whole numbers. All right? So if we were to extend our number 5,982, we'd have a decimal. And the decimal is represented simply by a point right, right to the right of the ones column. Now let's just say that we have two more uh, decimals to this. So we have a 4 and a 7. Now nothing's changed in our place value chart. All we've added are two columns to the right of the ones. Before you were always going with these whole numbers all to the left. Now we're going in between numbers. So we have to go in between, if we think of the number 5,982, we're thinking of a decimal that is between 9,982 and 9,800 or sorry, 9, 5,983. So, now we have a 0.7. And just like what we did before, we have a 4. And immediately to the right of the 1's column, we have the 10's column. Now, same exact concept. The 4 will go into the 10's column. And we could bring the period right over there. And the 100's go into the 100's column. So right now our whole entire number is separated nice and evenly. So this is what a place value chart is. It represents each of these numbers in the whole entire big picture of this whole number right there. Okay, so how are we going to add these? I'm going to give you guys an example. We have 9 plus 6. Okay, very standard number, 9 plus 6. What does it equal? It equals 15. So we always start from the right to the left, 15, and then we carry over, 1 and 5. Very simple. Hopefully you guys have this concept. If you don't, you can count with your fingers. So 9 plus 6 is 15. Now what happens if we put 2 digit by 2 digit? So 19 plus 16. How do things change? We always start to the, on the right side of the equation here. So 19 plus 16, again we're going to start with 9 plus 6. So we already know that's 15 over here. 
but we're going to change things just a little bit. It's going to be odd. So we're going to put the 5 where it's supposed to be because there's 5 ones from the ones column up over here. But we're not going to put the 1 beside the 5 to the left. We're actually going to put our answer and write it like this. Looks kind of strange, doesn't it? So we have 15, but the 1 is on top of the other. Now why would it be up there? It's because this 1 represents 10s, if we take a look over here. So this is actually 10 plus 5, and it makes 15. So now we have 5 here. So now that we have more numbers in the 10s column, we're going to place that 1 at the top in the 10s column. And then we're going to add up all the numbers in the 10s column. So we have 1 plus 1 plus 1 is 3. So our answer is 35. So very basic concept. Now, things getting a little difficult, more difficult. Is it really more difficult just because now we have a 3 by 3 number or 3 digit by 3 digit number? No, it's the exact same concept. So if we take a look here, we have 9 plus 6 again, and it's 15. Now we're going to rewrite it very strangely with the 1 at the top. And now we're going to go down all the way, and we have 3. Now, because these numbers in the tens column have not gone beyond 10, we do not place the number on top. So just like before with 19 plus 16, we have 35, and that's just a straight answer. So we're going to have 35 here. Now we're going to use the hundreds column right over here, and we have 3 plus 8, and simply that is going to be 11, and we could place that together. So our answer is going to be 1,135. Four-digit number, four-digit by four-digit, looks bigger, but it's the same concept over and over again. So it's still very simple. We start at the end. We have 9 plus 6, which is 15. Once again, our 15 goes on top because we reach that 10 plateau. We move it all the way down. 1 plus 1 plus 1 is 3. Now do we need to regroup anything at the top? No, we don't. So now we go with 3 plus 8. Now, we've reached that 10 plateau here once again, so every time we reach a 10 plateau, we need to place the other number on top. So we have 11 now written as such. So we have our 11, now we have one over here, and one on top. And then we add the next two numbers, three numbers. So 1 plus 4 is 5, 5 plus 7 is 12. And then we get an answer of 12,135. So with adding, is simply doing the same thing over and over. Even if we keep going with larger and larger numbers, it's going to be the same concept. Now we put things into decimals. Are things going to be different with decimals? I don't know. We have this kind of period right there that's going to confuse us a little. But let's take a look. So we've changed our number 9 plus 6 to 0 0.9 plus 0 0.6. Looks a little different. But we're going to be doing the exact same thing. We have 0 or 0 0.9 plus 0 0.6, and we're going to add it, just like we did 9 plus 6. So we have 5, and then now we're going to have 15. So the 1 goes on top, because we've now reached that 10 plateau. 1 plus 0 plus 0 is 1. Now the key here is these periods need to follow all the way down. So instead of having 15, we have 1.5, which would be our answer instead. It's very, very important to align our decimals or else everything is going to be messed up. So what happens now, all of a sudden we have a two-digit decimal, 1.9 plus 1.6. Just like with 19 plus 16, everything is going to go the exact same, except we just are going to be putting a period. So 9 plus 6, again, is 5. We regroup to the top, 1 plus 1 plus 1 is 3. The only difference is we have a decimal between the 3 and the 5. So the answer is still 35. Same concept of adding numbers together. Now we have a number over here. We have 31.9 plus 8.16. 8 here we encounter a problem. The decimals are not aligned. Now if we did this equation as such, we'll go 9 plus 6 is 15. Then we regroup on top, we have our 35, and then we have our 11. But then our decimals are not lined up. And then we get this number that will say 11.3.5. doesn't really make sense. 
How is this even possible? If you really think about it, we have 11. Let's just say our answer was 11. We already know that this is wrong because the first number up here is 31.9. How did this number get lower than before? It's 11.35 if you want to think about it like that. So it doesn't make sense whatsoever. It's illogical. So when you're adding decimals, the key thing is to align your decimals. So if you ever encounter a question like this, you would have 31.9, and you would have to put the 8 in the 1's column, like so. Because we're always looking back at the place value chart. All the numbers have to be aligned with their proper place value. So, in this question, the 3 is in the 10's column, so therefore it has to be in its own separate column. The 8 and the 1 are in the 1's column. So it has to be aligned together. The decimals have to be aligned together because we're aligning all the numbers in the place value. Now we have our decimals of 0.9 and 0.16. Now we could add it up. 31.9 is the equivalent as writing 0. If there is nothing, nothing means 0 in mathematical terms. So we do our adding. 0 plus 6 is 6. Then we have 9 plus 1, which is 10. We've reached that 10 plateau, so we've got to make our sort of odd little answer that is 10 but across from each other. We're going to bring down our decimal. We're going to have 1 plus 1 plus 8, which is 10 again. We reached the 10 plateau, so the 1 regroups up above the 3. And then we go 1 plus 3, and we get an answer of 40.06. So the concepts of adding don't really change even when there is a decimal placed into it. The key is always aligning your place values. So every number needs to be in its proper section. You cannot have the ones in the hundreds column. You cannot have the tenths in the ones column. Everything must be aligned and if you do such you will have correct answers.